Hey everyone, Richard Gibbons from MLS Direct for Southwest MLS coming with another time-saving tip. And today I want to go over a product that we have called InfoSparks. So start with, the way you get to InfoSparks is while you're logged into Flex here up in the top left, if you click on Menu, scroll down underneath Products, you click right here on InfoSparks. I actually have it starred, so it's up here at the top of my bar as well, but let's pop over in InfoSparks now. And this is what you get when it comes up, and this is giving you data for the entire MLS. So you have a couple options here. First off, across the top, you, you have your options. We have your price ranges, property type, construction type, square footage, and bedrooms. So let's, go, let's, just, let's just look at single family detached. And you can actually customize your price ranges right here. Um, so if you click on custom, you can change these price ranges to something different. But we're just gonna leave this alone for now. And you're looking, we're looking at single family detached. Down here in the bottom is where you choose what stat you wanna look at. So you have everything right here on the left side of sales price. You can choose median or average. You can look at new listings, homes for sale over time. And then even uh, down here in the bottom right, you even have a shows to pending or shows per listing. So you can see uh, shows to pending right here, you know, January 2015 on, or 2022 on average was uh, 15 showings to go from active to pending got down as low as nine showings in July of 2022, and now we're back up to 11 in September of 2022. The other thing you can change is right here, you can change it from three years to longer. So let's just go with maximum. So we have showing data all the way back to 2018. And then if you go back to something like median sale price, we have data going all the way back to 2003. So you have quite a bit of uh, time period back there you can look at. You can also change it from monthly. You can do rolling three months, rolling six months, or rolling 12 months right here. You can also change it from a line graph to a bar graph. So, you know, of course, bar graph is, is limited in number of years because of the way it's displayed. Um, but you have a couple of different options there. Another cool thing you can do is, is up here, we're looking at the entire MLS right now. If you click this little drop down, you can actually change it where you want to do just the Albuquerque MSA or if you want to look, look at just particular cities, or if you keep scrolling down, uh, or I'm sorry, right here, you click on area, you can actually choose by area. So if you want to look at say North Albuquerque acres, then you have just that area. We're looking at the median sale price in North Albuquerque acres. You can even compare areas. If you click right here on add an area, you can come in here, choose area again, and let's compare it with Sandia Heights. So now you're looking at the overlay right here. The orange line is Sandia Heights. The blue line is North Albuquerque Acres. So you can compare that median sale price over time. Um, one last thing is you can even draw a custom area. So if you're up here, if you click this little, uh, or hover over this little pencil right here, it changes to draw area. And it'll bring you to the, your My Areas page where you, you can then even go in and draw, it pulled up Berlin for me, so I'm just gonna draw Berlin. And you wanna draw your shape. And then you hit save, and you can save that shape. So I'm just gonna cut, save it as Berlin, and I'm gonna put today's date on it for my, for my own things here. And then now your area's been saved. So now when we go back into InfoSparks, when I go right here and up here, if I type in Berlin, I have that my area that I created right there. So you can choose that and it gives you that. One last thing, back over here, we also have Fast Stats. Fast Stats is a place where you have the individual drop downs. So you can do the different areas right here. So you can do by zip code or area, and that'll give you a breakdown of those areas. And one really cool one a lot of people miss out on is the showing time showings report. So I'm gonna pull up the most recent one of these just to show you real quickly. And it shows you a summary of how many showings and then how many showings per listing were in an area. So you can see Academy West had 61 listings and then and for and 637 showings for 10.4 showings per listing. And then if you scroll down, it actually gives you a breakdown even further of the price range and then some more information for that area. So lots of information packed into InfoSparks and, and Fast Stats there. This is a very quick video on that, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys some quick and cool options in InfoSparks. Thanks and have a great day.